Hey, what is going on guys? Welcome to another crazy video. So I wanted to do a little bit of an experiment here today. Back when I was taking a first look at Alpha 18, I found this water tower and I had a really cool idea of turning it into a horde base or even maybe a, possibly a bunker that you could place your bedroll in and ride out your first horde night with. So let me just show you what I've got going on here first before we start the horde night. So as you can see, I laid down some wooden spikes here, um, some really easy defense that anybody I think could do pretty quickly. I wanted to keep it kind of minimalistic here. And I also placed some wooden bars up here, but you wouldn't have to do that. Um, part of the experiment I want to see is how much damage they are going to do to this tower. As you can see, it has some pretty hefty hit points on it. So I'm thinking if you were in a bad spot or in a tight pinch, you could probably just, as long as you could get yourself up there and just like lock yourself in because it does have that hatch door, which had a lot of hit points on it too. Yeah, that also had 7,000 hit points on it. So you could, you know, probably just hide in there, like worst case scenario, and just wait for the Horde Knight to sort of pass. And then, you know, try to get out during the morning, run down this ladder, and then you would be good to go. So yeah, I've put some torches around here. I was lucky enough to find a headlamp, so we should be able to see pretty good tonight. Um, and then let me show you guys what else I did. So I've got the spikes, which is the only thing that's going to cause them damage other than like if I shoot them with my bow from up above. I've got the bars, and then the only other modification I did to this was I put these little hay bales as sort of an escape route. And I put these on either side just in case, because I'm not sure if they're going to be able to pile up. It's sort of like a World War Z situation if you've seen that movie or the, read the books. I don't know if they're going to be able to kind of pile up on each other or if the spider zombies are going to be able to get up that ladder. So worst case scenario, I can either bail out on these hay bales here. I've got one on all three sides over here. Or, you know, I might just complete the test and I will bunker down in there and see if we can survive. So I'm going to go ahead. You guys have seen the tour. I'm going to go ahead and I'll remove these frames and I will skip to the horde night. So I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, so it is almost 22 o'clock here. I wanted to show you guys this is what the inside of the water tower looks like. We've got the hatch up here, and then all I did was is I put down this wooden floor. There is water underneath here. You can displace that using some empty jars if you wanted. I've been doing it slowly over time, um, but if you're like me, you can just go ahead and put down these wooden blocks here um, right away and then kind of work at it slowly. But um, I wasn't able to fit my bedroll in here, which I was a little disappointed about. So that is up top there, right by the hatch. Um, and it would work the same way, you know, like if you died and you were just using this as like a little safe room, maybe you were going to store some extra materials and stuff like that in here, which I have actually collected quite a bit of stuff here in seven days. Um, but anyways, you could uh, just keep a little safe chest in here, you know, and then it, maybe have your actual horde base nearby and that way if you die, you would spawn here. You could just drop down in here and kind of wait out the rest of the horde night. I feel like that would be a kind of a cool idea. Um, but yeah, so I've just got this here. I've got a couple chests. I got my campfire. Just basic necessities in here. It's almost time for the horde night though, so let's go ahead and pop up here. Let's have a look at the sky. It's all red now. Awesome. Oh, and I gotta turn my headlamp on. There we go. Yeah, so I'll have to see. I don't know what to expect here, being a new alpha. We'll have to see. I've heard that there's a new zombie. I don't know what to expect with that. Shout out to, I believe it was Wolfguard that commented that on one of my other videos. Alright, let's see. Oh, here we go. They're coming from this direction. I did remember to... Yeah, okay. I took out those um, wooden blocks down there. I'm hoping they aren't going to be able to climb up that ladder. One thing I am a little worried about here, guys, is the base. It's got a lot of hit points, but if they focused enough on it, if they were that destructive, they potentially could bring this tower down. I'm not sure. Um, it would be interesting to see. I might do another test sometime later if this survives and see if it can survive a Day 14 horde as well. And just see how far we can take this build here. I don't know how many zombies we're going to get here. There's another one. Okay, let's see where she's going to go. Yeah, my main goal isn't really necessarily to kill all of the zombies uh, right now. I'm just kind of trying to see what they're doing. See, they're going to go for the support, and I don't know how easily those are going to fall. I kind of want to see what's just what's going to happen here, and how this water tower is going to hold up against the day seven. Yeah, I'm a little worried about the base there. That was the one thing. I was also thinking about if maybe they started digging underneath it. I wasn't sure if that was going to be a problem. 
So far, it doesn't seem like they can get up the ladder because I think they would already be doing that. Ooh, there we go. That was a solid hit. Maybe we can take out this guy here at least. I was able to find this wooden bow here. I haven't been able to craft one yet. It takes a lot to craft a wooden bow now. I mean, we have the primitive bow, but... Oh, did the spike scan him? Nope, he's still alive. Yep, she's smacking away at that base there. And I don't know if that is solid or not. That was one thing. I think it probably is. But if it's like a... I don't know if it could be hollow or not in there. There might be like a block in the middle that's not there. I don't know. Oh, well I hit her, but she was already dead, I think. Yeah, these spikes are doing a pretty good job. Maybe too well of a job. I don't know. I tried to leave that open. I was kind of hoping they were going to, you know, their AI would just kind of walk in here more. Is that it? There must be more, surely. I mean, I realize it's the first horde night, but come on. I did die a couple of times, so I'm not sure if that is going to impact how many zombies we get tonight. Okay, so there haven't been any more zombies that have been showing up part of the horde night here. There was this other zombie over there, so I shot my gun just to get its attention. Hopefully, oh, I was hoping she was going to go around. Come here, lady. Come this way. Shoot. I wanted her to make it over here just so she could continually do damage to this bottom pillar over here. Here she comes. There we go. Come on, lady. No, don't go on the spike. You had a straight path right there. What were you thinking? Come here. Come on. Hey. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Oh, seriously. Come on. Come on. Go after the water tower. There you go. There you go. Good job. Now we're getting somewhere. There we go. You just keep doing damage down there, lady. I'm going to climb back up here. And we'll just wait and see how much damage one zombie can do by morning, I guess. Well, she bled out and she dropped a loot bag here. So let's just go ahead and get this. There's like no zombies around. Ooh, Lucky Looter Volume 6. Food. The only fast food these days comes in a can. This tip will help you scrounge up a bit more. Find more food and loot. Cool. We'll just go ahead and take all. I love that button so much. Yeah, so this test didn't turn out quite as I hoped. They really didn't even put a dent in this at all. I'm thinking, yeah, I might test this without any wood spikes around here. But, like, really, the spikes didn't take any effort at all to place around this base. So I would say this definitely works for a good seven-day horde base. As for day 14, I'm not sure what to expect with that. But we can say for sure that, you know, in a pinch or if you don't have time to build your own base, I think this water tower works out pretty great. Especially with the amount of hit points. I think you could take this uh, even maybe a couple horde nights farther. Don't quote me. I haven't tested it, but I'm just, that's what I'm thinking is going to be like. So yeah, anyways, thank you so much for watching, guys. Let me know if you try this out for yourself, especially if you try it out on um, later Horde Nights. Let me know how that works out in the comments. But thanks again for watching, and as always, guys, stay crazy.